This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this part, we are going to study about physics, technology, and society, which means how the developments and the technology in physics is improving day by day how the development that is taking place in the field of physics is affecting the society okay in a positive way how the society is using the technological uh, instruments uh, which is developed due to physics okay due to the development in physics so about all these things we are going to study in this particular part okay yeah Today, we can reach any corner of the world within few hours. We can talk to a person sitting at any corner of the world within few seconds, isn't it? Yes, while sitting at the home, we can see live telecast of an event or a game taking place at other places in the world. We can take photographs of our solar system and galaxies. All these become possible because of physics, isn't it? Today we can take the photographs of this uh, galaxy, planets, okay, our solar system, uh, we are launching satellites, various communication satellites, okay, we are doing tremendous, uh, you know, we are doing a, a very adventurous things in the space okay we are studying the universe in more detail so we are trying to extract the information by sending satellites to the space isn't it and communication it's really awesome in today's world so the clarity the quality that we are getting uh, in today's world while communicating with any other part of the world through various means it's really fantastic in today's world and all these developments are possible only because of physics because of physics we can do all these things so we can communicate okay we can send satellites to the space all these uh, developments in the field of uh, communication is possible because of physics. Progress made in transportation of vehicles. See, uh, in the usual early days, uh, we used, we know, we were using uh, the instruments uh, like uh, bullock cord. You remember? Do you know this bullock cord? And uh, Next, we shifted to bicycle slowly, isn't it? And then motorcycle. Then car. And the ship. Aeroplane. And now we have satellites, private jets. So these are all the developments. There we can say a stage by stage development from bullock cart to bicycle, bicycle to motorcycle, motorcycle to car, car to ship and ship to aeroplane. All these are the developments uh, that took place in the field of transportation. Isn't it? So today we are facing uh, no problem problem in if we want to go from one place to other place isn't it it's, it's very simple even the booking of tickets and getting the tickets all those things are in a fraction of seconds so this development is uh, due to physics okay and not only this in the field of communication uh, also uh, first we used to use this radio isn't it? Slowly then came the tape recorder and then came the television isn't it? And then all these are the developments uh, in the field of uh, entertainment now we are using still advanced uh, uh, entertainment uh, apps isn't it like hot star live streaming 
all these are possible because of the physics and in if i consider uh, the kitchen part uh, then uh, in the beginning we used you know we used to use wooden stoves now slowly slowly we shifted to gas stoves now we have variety of uh, kitchen uh, uh, pa, you know instruments and even we are using this microwave ovens so all these are related to kitchen part so all these developments in the field of transportation entertainment you uh, know kitchen have become possible because of the proper use of laws or theories of physics in technology the various laws given by the scientists are used properly and uh, whatever the theories on the concepts uh, the scientist uh, uh, you know uh, they uh, explain all those theories and concepts are applied in practical applications so using those concepts and theories uh, today we are able to uh, do all these miracles in the field of transportation entertainment and kitchen so it is all due to the physics and physics uh, uh, as well as the technological development uh, that technological development is also based on the concepts of physics okay so basically everything all these developments are from physics okay and not only this it is this physics which introduced us to radiations okay we are dealing with radiations because of the physics so in this radiations uh, it is uh, also physics gave instruments based on ultrasonic and optical fibers and even this physics uh, gave instruments to the medical field okay for example i can say very useful medical technology instruments uh, like x rays the instruments which are used to take the x rays of human uh, any part of the human body and we can say electrocardiograph which is related to heart signals okay study of heart signals and even we, i can say nuclear magnetic resonance re resonance you know this right this nuclear magnetic resonance which are used in body scanning and this ecg electrocardiograph so all these uh, you know instruments in the field of uh, medical are very useful in medical field this without this uh, we can't even imagine the medical field isn't it so all these instruments are developed due to physics and if i say the instruments uh, which are uh, related to the uh, like other technologies uh, microscope which are which is used to study the minute particles okay and in this microscope we have various parts even to study a very uh, micro particles or we can say very very um, or clear analysis uh, in order to get the cleaner uh, clear analysis or the detailed analysis of any part so we are going to use the atomic level uh, microscopes and they are called as atomic microscope usually these are used in nanotechnology you know the nano particles right and even electro uh, microscopes uh, we have atomic uh, force microscope and electron uh, microscope
so these microscopes are used in the field of nanotechnology and in biotechnology and material technology so all this is uh, uh, possible again only due to the physics uh, so even not only this uh, physics uh, uh, is the mother of subjects like uh, electronics and communication computer technology and information technology so this physics is uh, mother or we can say base base for uh, uh, the subjects like uh, it computer technology and even for electronics and even in communication so this physics is the basic uh, for all or the mother subject for all these subjects like information technology computer technology electronics and communication so we have studied so many things in the field of physics isn't it uh, even though this physics has given solutions for various things and uh, because of physics uh, today uh, we got all these uh, various uh, kinds of in, you know instruments uh, which are very very useful in uh, uh, different fields uh, there are many questions even physics cannot solve i think it's quite surprising but it's true there are still many questions which are unsolved and those questions are mainly related to the universe okay still the research is going on to study about the in order to find the solutions for those questions and for example there are many i can give you a very simple example like uh, uh, for example does universe consist of a single element or it is a composition of multiple elements or matter and energy are they or you know are they two different aspects of the same thing or they are completely different what are they exactly and is unification of various forces in nature is it possible or it's not possible or what is the future of universe again this universe will break down in future or uh, will break down or is it going to exploit again in future as it was uh, you know as it happened uh, long years ago is that possible so these are all few questions i these are very few questions that i gave you now, as an example but still if you think uh, in the point of uh, scientist in the point of physics there are so many questions we can say mysteries okay there is still uh, they are in search of answers for all these questions so basically all the uh, physicists are attempting to solve the two principal thrust in physics and uh, those two are unification and reduction okay unification and reduction uh, which means uh, it was uh, it is believed that uh, in a long years ago universe was just a single a uh, huge mass like uh, we can't it's a very very huge mass at a very high temperature so that mass as the temperature reduced Uh, it was it is just an assumption uh, it's still under pro, you know research then it is believed that that huge mass at high temperature uh, when it, the temperature starts uh, you know when the temperature reduces uh, slowly slowly that is broken down into a smaller parts like galaxies 
planet solar system all those uh, it came from that single huge mass that's what this uh, question is is the universe is a single element or what so it is just an assumption that's the, uh, the still they are working on this unification and reduction what was the future of the universe and uh, how the universe was created so about all these uh, mysteries are still there and still they need to be solved so in the next part we are going to study about the fundamental forces in nature